You know, there hasn't been a car released in recent time that made waves such as this one. And alam ko marami sa inyong nag-aabang nito. Kahit ako eh. Pero bakit nga ba? Is it because it's an SUV that you can use to go camping up in Baguio? O kaya because it's easy to drive in the city whether by you, parents mo, o kaya partner mo? O kaya is it because you're getting a subcompact crossover SUV na brand new from the number one automotive brand in the Philippines at 750,000 pesos lang? Or less. Well, whether this car meets expectations or not, it definitely raised and changed the game. My name is Refmo Silva Ref Motors, and this is the 2022 Toyota Raze 1.0 Turbo CVT. Namis ko kayo. We're back. Now, bago tayo magsimula, let's get some things out of the way. Raise comes from the combined words of rice and raise. And as Kako from Autodeal said, if it reminds you of a smaller RAV4, you've got a good eye. But an even better eye if napansin you that it somehow looks kind of like the Daihatsu Rocky. Why? Because it is. The Toyota Raze is actually a rebadged Daihatsu Rocky, but unlike some rebadged cars, they both come from the same country. So pure Japanese to. But don't worry guys, hindi na to bago. The Toyota Rush is actually a debadged Daihatsu Terios naman. So talagang ginagawa na to ng mga automakers natin. So let's start with the color of the Rays. What you have here is the pearl white variant. Actually pearl white color since this is the top of the line variant. Yung top two highest variants natin get two tone colors and the two entry level variants natin get monotone colors. As for the headlamps naman, the top two highest variants get the split type LED headlamps while the lower or entry tier variants get the sport halogen headlamps. But the good thing about this is, all four variants get daytime running lights, so yeah, DRLs. So poging pogi siya, even with the 750k variant. Now, like I said earlier, the front bumper actually reminds me of our smaller RAV4. Pero para sa akin, ah, personal opinion ko lang to, it kind of reminds me of like a mixture of the GR Yaris and the RAV4. Uh, it obviously gives off a futuristic modern design that's pretty pretty reminiscent and you would see it in other Toyota vehicles. Now for driver aid, we have two parking sensors right here which are quite sensitive as uh, which are actually quite sensitive. Kanina I was driving tas merong mga motor na dumadaan and it was just ringing. So that can be annoying to some people but to some people kasi napakalaking tulong nun. Now one good thing about the race is that it actually has LED sequential signal lights. So once we turn it on later, you'll get to see it and it really gives this a tougher and modern touch. Now it also has halogen fog lamps and one fun fact about the Rays is also that it actually stands 200 millimeters off the ground so it's perfect for actually going off-roading or just driving in the city. It's high enough na hindi ka tatama sa mga humps or tatama sa mga curbs so definitely confident ka if you take this out. Now the heart of the race gets a turbocharged 3 cylinder gasoline engine, Toyota calls the 1KR VET. This is a double overhead cam engine, single VVTi with 98 horsepower and 140 newton meters of torque. Now the non-turbo variants come with a 3 cylinder double overhead cam dual VVTi engine naman. So yung turbocharged single VVTi tapos yung lower non-turbo variants dual VVTi naman. All variants aside from the manual one come with a CVT transmission. However, the most interesting thing about the race is not the price or the transmission. Toyota claims that it can reach up to 19 kilometers per liter in mixed conditions. Imagine that. Now for the wheel and tire setup of the Toyota Raze, you get 205-60R17 Dunlop tires fitted with 17-sized alloy rims while the entry-level variants actually get the lower 16-sized alloy rims. For suspension, you have your trusty McPherson struts, disc brakes in the front, drum brakes in the back. Now the side of the Raze is actually my favorite part of the car and if you look at it, I think it's one of the best 
uh, best um, best areas to really appreciate how beautiful it is. The first thing that you would notice are these oversized fenders or kaya body cladding that's actually wrapped around the whole car, which really gives it a RAV4 look or a tough look. Actually, without this, I don't think it would give off the same toughness as it does give right now. You also have the turbo logo right here for the top of the line variant, which I think is really, really nice as well because at least alam nila na turbocharging kotse mo. Now, the top of the line high end variant actually get auto folding side mirrors, while the entry level variants actually get manual folding side mirrors. Now, one of my favorite features of any car actually is the smart key function, which means na kapag lumapit ka, nahawakan ko siya. Just like that, the car actually, you know, turns and closes all of its folding side mirrors and it actually locks and protects the car from anyone else. However, if you have your key with you, simply lapit ka lang sa kotse, tap it with the touch of your finger, and automatically the car opens up for you. Now, moving on here to the back, you have a piano black roof. Uh, which I think is also a very beautiful uh, feature of the car. Um, actually, imagine if this had a panoramic roof that would actually make it 10 times nicer than it is right now. But I think this piano black roof actually really gives it a tough, uh, a tough vibe as well. Very classy, very luxurious in the thing. Yeah. And I'm actually all for it. Now moving on here, we also have a roof spoiler and a fin type antenna. Piano black as well. Now for the rear, you get LED tail lamps, piano black garnish, of course the spoiler, third brake light, rear wiper, and of course a rear view camera which is right here to guide you in any times that you might need it. Meron din tayong rear reflectors dito uh, which is actually part of the two-tone color of the Toyota Rays. Of course, you have your Rays emblem right here. Yung back naman I think is also a nice perspective because if you look at it, it's like, again, uh, I can't stop saying a smaller RAV4. I think halo nga siya ng RAV4 pati ng Corolla Cross Hybrid. So for added safety, we also have rear parking sensors. But now comes my favorite part of the car, which is the trunk. Now it doesn't have any of those latches that we used to have with our old cars. There's simply a pad here that you put your finger over, tap it, and it'll automatically unlock. Now as you see here, we actually have camera equipment and it just shows how many baggages or how many luggages that you can actually put inside the race. Meron din tayong trunk cover dito. And what this basically does is it protects your, your, your items from prying eyes. So this actually comes free with all variants as well. Perfect for off-roading, perfect for camping, and perfect for your daily drives. Fun fact, Toyota actually aims to sell a thousand units of these per month and honestly, kayang kaya nila yun. Now inside the race, you're greeted with fabric plus synthetic leather, uh, which is basically the theme that's ongoing through the whole car. You also have carbon looking uh, patterns on the seats and on the actual uh, gear shifter in the middle. Of course, meron kang illuminated entry and what this does is once you enter the car, the lights actually come on. Meron ka rin foot lamp which I think is very interesting because you don't see that a lot uh, in any of the cars these days. Talaga modern na talaga ngayon. And you also actually have eight bottle holders. The problem with that is this. Uh, if you can see here, um, hindi talaga kasha yung full-sized bottle or like a thermos, hindi talaga siya kasha, but it'll actually work, pero medyo bulging lang siya. So there's actually no area in the car that you could put it where it would sit comfortably, but for what it does, it actually works. Of course, you have a leather-wrapped stitch steering wheel here, which is really nice to touch. You also have controls on your steering wheel such as mode, uh, power, overdrive, uh, track skip, calls, and even a mic option here in volume. So anything that you might need, even your trip odometer, is actually on the steering wheel itself. I think the steering wheel actually really brings out the character of the Toyota Rays. It's really nice to touch, very, very firm, and hindi siya ganun kalaki and hindi rin siya ganun kaliit. It's really perfect and it really gives it a, a it really gives it a modern feel. But I think the star of the Toyota Rays is the 9-inch digital infotainment system that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Meron din siyang rear view camera, car information, radio, Bluetooth, FM, AM, anything that you might need. And of course, the huge 7-inch full digital gauge cluster that actually has a digital speedometer and a digital RPM meter. Uh, fuel and everything else is there as well. When the doors are open, it actually signifies it as well. Kung hindi naka seatbelt yung passenger mo, it actually does that also. Now, kung merong motor na dumaan sa harap mo, it also signals. Uh, if you're nearing someone else or a person, it actually also does that. So, it's really a supported car that hindi ka talaga iiwan sa biyahe mo. Kumbaga, when you need it to help you out, it will help you in every single way possible. 
very impressive now of course since this is the top of the line variant you get the push to start option and automatic ac controls the lower variants actually get the typical normal key start option or key start function you also have manual ac controls but honestly it's not really that much of a difference one thing i actually noticed in this car was actually the aircon vents as well because very unique looking sha they're designed not in the way that you would expect them to be and meron siyang circular chrome trim which actually makes it very very nice uh, it's a it's a good contrast as to the black theme of the vehicle one good part about this car is also the fact that it has a manual handbrake uh, column here i like this actually because i think if they put an electronic handbrake it wouldn't feel so much like a, actually siguro that's just me baka mas old school lang ako in that way but i like the fact that you have a manual handbrake lever now, of course, meron kang Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You have your USB charging systems here. And you also have your cigarette lighter option. Okay, yung 12 volt uh, accessory lighter option mo dito. Of course, all windows are automated. Power folding side mirrors as well. You can also lock the car. It actually automatically locks as it senses your speed kapag bumibilis na siya. So, hindi mo na iisipin yun. You can, also, you can also actually turn off your parking sensors if that gets annoying for you. So, overall, it's a very good experience. Ah, one thing I forgot. The top-of-the-line turbo variant actually comes with paddle shifters. So, hindi mo na kailangan na maging, maging manual siya because you're simply just gonna paddle your way across, across the highway and it'll, re it'll reach the speed that you want it to go to. And honestly, I think it might even be as fun as the manual variant kung merong turbo. So this has everything that you need. Of course, you have your airbags in front and in the sides as well. So protected yung buong koche in that sense, just in case something might happen. Of course, you also have your sun visors and both of them actually have mirrors. You also have a glove compartment here in the center console and one here in front of the passenger seat. Very common stuff. Uh, you also have speakers here near the side mirrors and speakers, of course, in all four doors. Yeah, tama, all four doors. You can actually opt to put a subwoofer here if you want to improve the audio quality a little bit more. But honestly, okay na siya for what it is. Wala ka nang kailangan ni upgrade dito sa loob. So we are seated here in the rear seats of the Toyota Rays. And as you guys can see, it's comfortable enough for uh, a man of my height. So I'm around 5'10". Si, kasama namin si Patrick is around 5'11". And he was sitting here comfortably with a lot of stuff. Although if we're being brutally honest, um, I don't think it can sit 5 people comfortably. Uh, siguro kaya kong isang child or baby sa gitna but if you're five full grown adults it might be a little tight especially for the person in the middle but if you guys were in a road trip apat lang kayo it's actually perfect for that uh, in the rear you don't really get much walang air vents uh, but you do get speakers you do get uh, this light and um, that's pretty much it walang cup holder dito and wala ring USB slot uh, but you do get cup holders in the sides you also don't have an armrest but it's really okay. Honestly, uh, sobra sobra naman yung binibigyan ng kotse na to. Although you do get airbags here for maximum safety. So, good job, Toyota. Now, like me and Patrick here, we're in the mountains of Angono Rizal. And it just shows that if you're with your partner or kaya gusto niyo mag-camping, it's really possible. I'm 5'10", Patrick here is about 5'11 to 6. And we both fit. Now, of course, we just can't stretch our legs. But if we actually manage to, to move forward the, fr the front seats, makakaya naman. But either way, it gives you an idea of what you can do with the Toyota Rays. Ang galing talaga. One of the first things I noticed once I got into the Rays was, yun nga, it had a very modern and futuristic interior. Actually, the interior of the Rays, I think, resembles the GR Yaris's interior. Sila yung pinaka magkatapat, in, in, my, in my perspective. And... One thing I also noticed was that, yes, it is a crossover, it, it, it's a subcompact crossover SUV, but if you mo siya beside maybe a Ford Territory or kaya a Geely Cool Ray, the, the, the Toyota Ray actually sits a little bit lower than that. So yung ground clearance niya, oo, mataas siya, pero you can't really treat it like an SUV, which means, you know, and uh, being a little bit less careful over bumps or over potholes. Ito, you kind of have to treat it like an upgraded sedan, I would say. O kaya an upgraded AUV. Kasi you still have to really stop sa mga humps and potholes and any of those things. And you have to give it care. Because if not, magiging matagtag yung ride and it'll, you know, it'll cause you guys to move all over sa loob ng kotse. 
Now, one of the things I also noticed once I drove the race was, of course, the CVT transmission. Now, alam ko, a lot of people are not fans of the, you know, the CVT transmission. Personally, I'm not a fan of it as well. But I think how they mated it with this engine, yung power to weight ratio niya, and how quick it accelerates and how fast it can go up to speed, it's quite impressive. Because a light tap could actually get you farther uh, than some other cars do. As in, kanina, actually, I have a heavy foot kasi. Uh, I'm sure marami din makaka-relate sa akin dito. And nagulat ako because pagkatapok na pagkatapok ako sa race, it literally accelerated far beyond what I thought it would and how it would. And na-impress ako doon, na-impress ako doon. So, throughout the drive here to Angono Rizal, medyo kinapa ako yung acceleration niya o yung gas pedal niya. And I had to be very careful kasi nga, one light tap could actually, you know, allow you to Go places. Now, for the cost of a million pesos for the top of the line high end variant such as this one, and 750,000 for the entry level manual variant, you get one of the, if not the most exciting Japanese subcompact crossover that's available today. We hope you guys enjoy the ins and outs of getting to know the 2022 Toyota Race 1.0 Turbo CVT. My name is Ref Bonsil for Ref Motors, dedicated to helping you bring home the car of your dreams with zero worries. If you guys have any questions or kaya meron kayong kotse na gustong pa-review sa amin, just let us know in the comments below and we'll try to do that for you. Once again, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.